tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hello my friends, this is a tutorial about tessellation. It's a pain in the ass uh, because uh, sometimes you render things and you think why is a wonderfully round sphere for example or the body of a character so edgy in rendering although it looks perfect on the screen. Let's have a look here. Uh, these three spheres are NURBS spheres. This is a polygon sphere. We come back to the polygon in just a second. When we get closer here and we're rendering in quasi um, real time using the Arnold um, viewport rendering, when we get closer to this blue sphere or the white sphere we see that they have edges here. They are not totally round. Although when we look at them in a wireframe mode, let's go back to the viewport shading and click here, they are totally round. So why is that the case? Well it has to do with tessellation and we'll get to the tessellation of NURBS in just a minute. Now um, a brief remark about this thing here which is a polygon sphere. Let's get a little bit closer and uh, in invoke Arnold rendering again it has edges as well. If you get closer to it you see that there's one there's a corner there and there and there. The way to get rid of this is twofold. Either you can change the resolution of this sphere click on it. This is the standard res res uh, resolution with 20 by 20 you see it here if you pump this up to 40 by 40, deselect it here so we can see it properly, you see that the edges almost disappear. But you can go back to 20 by 20 or even 10 by 10, then it looks really crude like this. But now you can go to the polysphere shape and in the polysphere shape the top entry here is tessellation attributes. Click on the tessellation attributes and you see things you can modify now. But this is much too sophisticated. You need this only in very few respects because it uses the minimum screen. This is just a it does a perfect job really. But you can go to smooth mesh here and when you activate smooth mesh preview you see a perfectly round sphere polygon sphere that is. I'm going to delete this now because we concentrate on the NURBS world now. This one has a high resolution. Let's have a look here um, under make NURBS sphere it has a resolution of 40 by 57 or I could type in 40 by 40 and uh, the rendering, just as in the polygon world, respects this tessellation. That's why this sphere is round and this one is edgy. Let's go to this one and I actually want to give it a different color so we can see it a little bit better against the background material attributes and instead of white we can use some kind of gray. So here we have the edges this is the original resolution of that sphere and this one has the same resolution. Now when we uh, select the blue one and look for tessellation where do we find it? Right here. And uh, you can display the render tessellation and that's the way Maya interprets the NURBS sphere, converts it to a polygon sphere and uh, shows us these kind of edges. In order to get this, these edges disappear you can of course rebuild your sphere but you go to the enable advanced tessellation option here. You click here and then you find here the advanced tessellation. Here you can type in per span 
number of isopalms and uh, other options here let's stick to this one and the number of u and number of v uh, depends on uh, how you look at the sphere currently we're looking from the front and i think this is the number of u's here when we raise this from three to nine we all of a sudden get a pretty round object when we reduce this to one we get a very harsh corner here in some cases you might actually need that but now you know where to find it so when we go back to the default settings 3 where we do see our edges and raise the number of V's here which I think are these ones um, to 9 we should not see a difference we would see a difference by looking at the sphere from the top though do this right here and here you see now it's pretty round whereas when we reduce this to one we see this edginess now from the top from the view v view so to say whereas here it looks quite okay and with a tessellation of nine it looks perfectly all right let's go back to three here so these are the values you need to adjust in order to get your things rendered properly when you look at the spheres from the from a distance they all look round so that's quite nice really and uh, if you're not interested in getting them look more round just leave them as they are because higher tessellation means longer rendering time although it's not that critical and with this I leave you alone now whenever you see edges in your wonderfully round NURBS structures Go to the advanced tessellation and change the values appropriately. And when you're dealing with polygon roundness, use the smooth preview. Bye-bye.